this tutorial, we will be retouching photos in Coral Photo Paint X7 using the new liquid tools to create unique artistic effects. You will find the new liquid tools grouped between the clone and the effect tools on the default toolbox. There are four new pressure sensitive liquid tools smear, twirl, attract, and repel. There is also a new toolbar for the liquid tools, which you can open by right-clicking on the property bar and checking liquid tools. This makes it easier to access and switch between the tools when you are working with them. Let's begin with the liquid smear tool. With the liquid smear tool, you can push pixels around an image area to produce distortion effects. We will drag the brush across the area around the grapes. As you can see, as the pixels get pushed, it creates interesting distortions on the image. In the property bar, there is a nib size control to set the size of the brush nib. You can also set the nib size interactively by holding the shift key and dragging the cursor up or down. Let's increase the nib size. Next we will set the pressure or the amount of effects to apply. You can do this by using the control on the property bar. or by holding the ALT key and dragging the slider on the screen. Once you've increased the pressure, you'll notice that it creates a greater distortion effect on the image. If you are using a digital pen or stylus, you have the option to use the pressure of your pen to control the effect as you draw. You can also choose between a smooth smear or a pointy smear on the property bar. Smooth smear creates smooth curves, whereas pointy smear creates curves with sharp corners. Next we will use the Liquid Twirl tool. The Liquid Twirl tool produces twirl effects from image areas. Let's try it on the areas we have just smeared. As you can see, you can create interesting twirl effects on the image. Just like the Liquid Smear tool, you can set the nib size by using the control on the property bar or by holding the shift key. For the liquid twirl tool, you can set the rate or speed at which the effect is applied. Again, you can do this by using the control on the property bar or by using the ALT key. As you increase the rate, you will notice that the twirls are created more quickly. Again, you have the option to use the pressure of your digital pen or stylus to control the rate of the effect. You can also change the direction of the twirl effect by clicking on counterclockwise twirl or the clockwise twirl button on the property bar. We'll use a combination of both to create more interesting twirls around the image.
Next we will continue with the liquid attract and repel tools. With these tools you can also set the size of the brush nib and the speed at which the effect is applied. The liquid attract tool pulls a portion of the image towards the centre of the brush nib. Let's try using it on some of these grapes here. As you can see, it pulls the pixels towards the centre of the nib. Conversely, with the liquid repel tool, you can push a portion of the image away from the centre of the brush nib. Now that you have learned how to use the liquid tools, you can create unique artistic and fun effects on any image that you have. For example, we can add a bit of humour to this image by making the dog look cartoonish using the liquid tools. Let's just work on our dog a bit more. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on retouching photos with the liquid tools. Be sure to watch the next video in the training series which shows you how to create a depth of field effect with Bokeh Blur in Coral Photo Paint X7.